Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano. It's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. All eyes are on Georgia as the clock counts down to the state's crucial Senate runoffs. More than three million votes have already been cast in the election, which will determine the balance of power in the Senate. President-elect Biden campaigned in Atlanta Monday afternoon for Democratic challengers John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Georgia's runoff election will happen a day before Congress meets to certify Mr. Biden's election victory. The meeting is usually a quick formality, but this year it could become a drawn-out process as Republicans in both the House and Senate say they will challenge the electoral results from several battleground states. For his part, President Trump is also campaigning in Georgia on Monday. He's stumping for the state's incumbent senators, Republicans David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler. But the president's efforts to turn out Republican voters come as top GOP officials in the state are fuming over a phone call he made this weekend. During that call, the president pressured Georgia's Republican Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, to, quote, find the votes to throw out Joe Biden's victory. The call has drawn criticism from Democrats and even some Republicans from across the country.